Hi guys, I'm Kim and today I'm showing you my flip through for the month of February as well as my setup for the month of March. So I'm pretty much just going to pick up where I left off in my last flip through video. As you can see, nothing really changed in my monthly. I didn't add anything special or anything, that's just the way it was in my setup. This also is pretty much the way as it was in my setup. As you can maybe tell, I didn't really read many of my TBRs. Um, you can also watch my last video, which was my wrap up for the month, so you'll know I didn't really stick to my TBR when it came to reading. But I still um, did keep my TBR as well as my video list for the month of March. I did not keep the new in section because I put that one in my bookish insert. Here we still have the to-do as well as my tracker. As you can tell, there are kind of some blank spots because I didn't really keep up with it. I hope I'm going to do better in March, so. Then here is my first week and as you can see, I use the Dutch door. I simply have the week on the outside with all my days and on the inside I have my food tracker as well as some plans for what I'm going to post on Instagram or what I was going to post on Instagram. And around here, we simply have my um, dailies. I really like the layout. I love the header for the dailies. It's pretty easy and simple and I'm still using it today. And I also like the layout of my um, weekly. Although I'm not using the Dutch store anymore, I'm still sticking to the same weekly spread pretty much, except it's not a Dutch store. So here we have more dailies. Then here is the next week. As you can see, it's pretty much the same with the headers, with the week and inside with the food and Instagram. So nothing pretty special here. More dailies. Here's a little collection, some lists I have made for something. Then another week. Um, here I tried a different header, but I really like the other one. So I went back to the other one after this week. So, yeah. Here I skipped the food tracker because I just didn't plan, not a food tracker, the food planning thing, whatever. And I didn't really use the Instagram planning thing either. So yeah, that was the last week I used the Dutch draw because I just realized I didn't really need those two um, things on my weekly. So I just skipped them. As you can see here, I crossed out the whole day because something changed and um, I didn't do anything. So I decided to cross it all out and just put it in another day. Here is more of this week and here's a little different meal planning tool, but I only used this, this once one week and then I didn't use it again. Here is the way I'm pretty much using my weeks now. I have my weekly here. As I said, it's the exact same thing as with the Dutch door, except it's only the one side. I have my to-dos here for the whole week or maybe I, sometimes I'll have them down here and then the rest I have just my days. And where I mainly write down um, when I have to work and some things I have to do that I already know at the beginning of the week. Up here I have my two videos that I have planned for the week and then we just go into dailies. Again with the same header as before. More weeklies, dailies, I'm sorry. And then we get into the month of March. And um, here I have my monthly setup, my just where, when I have to work and stuff like that. Then I have the tracker here and I do not really like the setup. I tried something out and it just didn't work out for me. So for the next month, I'm going to change this one again. It's pretty much the same as it was before, except I'm using access now instead of just calling it in because I like the way this looks better when it's filled out. Here we have my video planning as well as my TBR and the to-do section. So, and I'm going to keep all of this for the next month, but I'm going to switch it around a little bit. Here we have the current week. No, we have last week. There's still one more week to go. And same setup as usual, same headers as usual, same dailies as usual, everything as usual. I need a little more space here because I wrote a little bit more down in that week, but that's the only difference. And now we're in the current week again as usual although I did use a whole page for Monday but I'm confident I'll fit the rest of the week in here because Friday and Saturday I have to work so I'm not going to write down a lot and I hope the remain remaining space will be enough for Sunday and that's pretty much it I don't really have to show you guys anything else if you like this video please give me a thumbs up or subscribe also leave me a comment um, telling me maybe what kind of spread you use or if you have any tips for me what I could change or anything. Yeah, I'd love to hear from you. Bye!